Using your Android phone, I'm going to show you how to build a monitor for your camera. This will work on any camera that has a HDMI output. I've used mainly parts around the house, but if you don't have any of the parts, the total build will cost you £35.12. I've been using this for the last week, uh, yielding excellent results. So yeah, let's get stuck in. So the first part you'll need is the Type-C to USB adapter. Most modern Android phones will be Type-C. Uh, if you are using an older Android phone, you may require a micro USB to USB adapter. So the second part you'll need is the HDMI video capture card. Uh, it'll be HDMI on one side and USB on the other side. So the final part you'll need is a HDMI cable. Just check what type of HDMI output your camera has. Mine is actually micro HDMI. So yeah, just check that before purchasing the cable. Okay, so taking the three parts, we're now gonna put them together. So we wanna plug the HDMI capture card into the USB to Type-C adapter and plug the full size HDMI into the HDMI capture card. Okay, so that's what you should have, uh, a Type-C input on one end and the HDMI on the other end. So this is the phone mount I brought. Uh, I paid around eight pounds for it. Uh, it just attaches onto a horseshoe mount. I've tried this on my Sony A6000 and my Canon 5D. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, got all the adjustments you would need to ensure it's aligned properly. You can switch it to your phone to landscape or portrait mode. Um, just tighten that back up on the back there. You can adjust the tilt with this on the side. So if we loosen this up, there we go. And we can adjust the tilt as we need. And we'll just twist that clockwise again to tighten it back up. Okay, so we'll take the camera and attach it to the horseshoe mount. So we'll just slide it in, make sure it's all the way in there and turning the bottom screw, we'll just turn it clockwise and make sure it's firmly attached. Okay, give it a little shake just to make sure it's not gonna fly anywhere. Okay, right now take your Android phone and you can see this adjusts, so this should fit most phone sizes. Um, but yeah, I'm using a Samsung S20 uh, fan edition, um, so yeah. Just tighten it up, make sure it's firmly in place. We don't want it flying off when we're running down a road filming. Okay, and just a final shake. So take the Type-C and plug that into our phone. And the other end, the HDMI input, we just wanna plug in. So you have to locate this on your camera. It's usually going to be under one of the rubber flaps. So yeah, plug that in, make sure it's firmly connected. So that's it, it's uh, pretty simple, um, easy to put together. Just give it one more tighten with everything in place and uh, we'll give it one more final shake just to make sure it's all tightened up. Now, moving over to the phone, I've used an app called USB Camera. When you load it, it should pop up saying, uh, allow USB camera to access USB video. So we'll click OK. And that's it. We can see the can on screen. And if I switch it to video, I'll just remove my lens cap. And there we go. Using my Android phone, I've got uh, a, a full HD monitor uh, with a much brighter display than the inbuilt LCD on the camera. Um, just so much easier to focus. Um, a lot of the shots I've now been taking of coming back in focus. I'm using Magic Lantern with my Canon. So yeah, this is a, you know, this has been a lifesaver. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to give uh, the video a like, um, you know, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, help hack the YouTube algorithm and uh, have a good day.